The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another investing video. So in the last video, we were talking about my cryptocurrency portfolio, my main investing portfolio, and I shared with you sort of how much roughly I earn from staking rewards each month from that cryptocurrency portfolio. And I said at the end, actually what I'll be doing in future is taking out the staking rewards and using them to build up a share account, a share, a stocks and shares portfolio. So that is what we're doing in today's video. I'm actually gonna be using a uh, sort of a share app called Trading212. I'm looking down at the phone here because I've got it on my phone. Um, and it's a really sleek user interface and it's much better in terms of fees, in fact, miles better, 99.9% .9 better in terms of fees than other share dealing services I've used online in the past, such as the Share Center or IG. Both of those actually entail quite large per trade fees. I think IG as a minimum is sort of a fiver, but normally it's around eight quid. And then obviously the Share Center can be all the way up at £17.50 per trade. Simply there is so, so low fees. I mean, you could you could invest basically a fiver and you would hardly notice the fees. It really is that good. So essentially I uh, got brought onto this app by my friend Tom. So thank you very much, Tom for getting me onto this app um, and yeah it's a really really cool little app so what I'm going to do is I'm actually sharing my screen my phone screen with you right now um, and you will be able to see my account value and my portfolio so I have actually invested a hundred pound today or well not invested but actually put in deposited a hundred pound today which is solely crypto passive income I actually did deposit a first sort of little sum of 25 pound the other day just to get the account rolling just to do my first deposit essentially but you'll see my portfolio value is actually at 30 pound there and i've got three funds of 102 pound 59 so essentially i'll just explain that a little bit more so if i go into my portfolio here you can see that i've got investments i've got seven shares in bp uh, which amount to 23 pound 38 i actually invested uh, 22 pounds so that's up by a pound and eight pence odd uh, i think i must have invested 22 pound 30 or something like that there and then i've got one share in tilray so that share that i got from Tilray is actually a referral bonus so I actually referred someone to the platform and you actually get a free share so every time I refer to someone to the um, like sort so to the app then I get a free share and also they get a free share up to the value of £100 but it's never £100 you might get a £5 free share or a £10 free share um, so I'm just explaining basically that that's why that share is in there as well so obviously I've got my kind of my £22 odd investment in BP that I made the other day and then I've got that £6 there from my referral bonus for that share and the free funds basically I've got £2.59 uh, left in the free funds from the £25 that I deposited the other day and then that £100 is what I've deposited today so that's just a little bit of a walk through so essentially today we're going to go through and we are going to very very quickly invest in a few shares so I kind of know I've had a look at what I uh, would like to invest in so what we're going to do I'll just share with you how easy it is as well to navigate this app so essentially let before we do this actually let me go um, to the home page so you can be on your home page here and you can go like down your down your home page and let's say you wanted to invest in Apple you click in that you can click buy, just obviously you want to have a look, check it out first and stuff. But if you wanted to buy it, it's very, very simple. You just put this slider across, how many do you want to buy? Um, and then this is obviously uh, kind of in comparison to how much you've got in your account as well, your free funds. So you can see it, it, it sets a limit. When I get over the, the amount I've got in my account, I can't buy any more. Um, but yeah, you just slide that slider, review order, purchase it. It is so quick. And then you will have those shares in your portfolio if you are in within the trading hours of that day. If you actually make a purchase out of trading hours, it'll simply just go into your pending orders. And when you're back into trading hours, it will get executed. Um, so yeah, it's really, really easy. You can see down here, you've got all the key ratios, all the data, you've got financial summaries, you can you can view extensively the fully income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow forecast, 
all your stuff you would want to actually look at. You can see if it's got dividends, which is what I'm interested in. I'm going to be investing in dividend stocks and then I'm going to be recycling my dividends into the account, into other stocks or even maybe some more of the same stocks and then we'll see how high we can get this portfolio over time. Um, so that's simply how easy it is. As you see, you, you, as I showed before, you can actually see your portfolio in the little pie chart window there um, as a symbol and you can see all your investments and you can also see your allocation as well. Really, really cool really user friendly I would say. Um, to be honest I know I'm kind of raving about this but this is the app that I have been looking for for so long. Um, obviously over in America we have the Robin Hood app, Hood app, the free stock trading app and I really wanted something like that over here in the UK and this is similar to that and the user interface is brilliant. It is a really really good little app. So what I'm going to go is to American Airlines. Let me go to uh, American Airlines here because I've noticed on here, just looking at it early before, you can see in the last three months it's gone down quite a lot. It's gone down, uh, how much has gone down? 53%. Um, I don't know what it's like on the year. It's gone down 63% on the year. And I'm tempted to actually just buy one of these shares, just see what it's like. Um, so obviously I've only got £100 today. Um, normally, you know, if I was investing in crypto and stuff, I'd be putting a lot more than just £100 in. But because I'm just taking the crypto passive earn income earnings over, I've got a limited amount to play with every time I do that. Um, so obviously I'm not doing as big orders as I would do in crypto. But as the account grows, I may be doing more bigger orders essentially. So I might get one of these shares here. Um, we also, actually before I do that, we can also see that the dividends for these are 4%, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go on this one. I think that this one might be a, a decent little play, to be honest, for the kind of um, maybe the more midterm. You know, obviously it's not going to go up straight away or anything. It's going to be uh, a little bit of a, a longer investment. Um, but maybe even sort of the, just the end of that short term period, maybe the next 12 months, something like that. So I'm just going to get one of them anyway. And when I do another investment in a few weeks with the next lot of crypto passive income I get, um, then I might buy another one of these. I don't know, but I might buy another few. So I'm going to review that order and then I'm going to send that buy order. You can see the commission there is free, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. Uh, estimated cost 10 11 and it updates automatically if it's going up or down. I'm going to send the buy order there. And then that one will be, yeah, there we go. Order executed. Buy for one American Airlines at 12.56 has been executed. Um, and so now I want to buy some, I'm going to buy, uh, no, you know what? I'm going to buy a Coke share. Uh, Coke dividends are about 3.4, 3.5%, something like that. 3.5% dividends, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to buy a Coke set share. You can see in the last three months or so, it's gone down quite a little bit. We can see we had a really nice uh, run-up. We've had like a really good, solid, well, it's not even a run-up. It's just a lovely flowing chart right the way up. It's a lovely looking chart, actually, that um, over a, a long period time time period obviously but then it's had this sharp drop so you know i think even at obviously it went down to like 38 dollars but even at 47 dollars i think it's still decent so i'm actually going to buy uh, one of those as well and we're going to add that to the ever-growing portfolio so that's cool i'm going to review that and then i'm going to send that buy order there it'll probably be a bit more than 47 dollars because there's obviously a little bit of a spread there there we go 40, 47.5 one dollars and uh, you know what I want to buy next I want to check out uh, Royal Dutch Shell I don't know how much I've got left I guess I've, I've got maybe about 50 quid left how, how much have I got here let me check I'm probably about 50 quid left so Royal Dutch Shell the reason I want to buy these uh, we look at the three months again it, it, it's gone down quite a bit in the last three months it's oil might be a good time to invest in oil at the moment and also um, it's a 10.5% dividend yield and the dividends are actually coming in May, they, they are quarterly which is cool, I like quarterly dividends so um, yeah that's going to be, I'm going to buy a couple of those I think, um, so we'll put a couple on there, that's 29 quid, should we just get like three of them and then I'll get maybe, well if I'm getting three I may as well just use all my money. 3.5. Let me, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on all of them. Let me buy, oh wait, no, I have to, 
you can only basically use 95% of your free funds, so it'll block you if you're using any more than that. There we go, that's good, that, that'll do it. Stamp duty reserve, uh, reserve tax, so I have to pay a little bit of tax on them, um, but the commission is fee free. So obviously, um, I'm buying those for 40 odd quid, and I'm paying 24 pence in a tax there, which is really, really good. Um, you know, as I said on IG or Share Center, you're paying a lot more than that, and that isn't even the commission, that's actually just a, a, a tax separate from that. So, yeah, that's really cool. So, I'm going to send the buy order for that. Auto executed on those. So, if I go to my portfolio, now you can see. I'm slowly building up a little portfolio here. We've got my free share that I got from my referral. We've got my World Dutch Shell. We've got Coca-Cola. We've got BP. Uh, actually, it's not for some reason this app's playing up on me. Oh, there we go. And then we've got BP and then we've got American Airlines. And you can see my portfolio value now is £126, pretty much on, on the nose. Invested 124 and the return, um, well, basically just from that BP share, because the others are only just updating now, is uh, £1.26. So, yeah, pretty cool. Awesome. I mean, that's going to fluctuate. It's going to go down. In the negative, it's going to go up. But a lot, obviously, pretty much all of these are dividends. In fact, I didn't check this Tilray share. Obviously, I got that free, so I didn't check whether this is dividends. It probably won't be. I wouldn't imagine, no, it's not, there's no dividends. I wouldn't have imagined for a free share they would have given you a dividend stock. Uh, I would imagine they, they don't do that, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty good. My intentions is to actually invest um, a, a bit more as well when, when obviously when I get my crypto income a little bit more in the blue chip stocks and things that are a bit more safer um, but I will be investing in a whole range of things as well but I do want to invest a bit more in the more blue chip stocks I mean kind of Shell and Coca-Cola they're a bit more blue chip uh, BP possibly um, American Airlines, I don't know, maybe not so much, but it, it's still, it's a fairly stable company and stuff. Don't know what that Tilway is, so I, I haven't a clue. I'll actually have a look on here, see what's what. Oh, that's gone down quite a lot since uh, some sort of crash here. 56% down, 83% down. Yeah, it probably doesn't look like a very good stock to get involved with, to be honest, but uh, it doesn't really matter anyway, because as I said, you've got it for free. So... Yeah, if you would like to get involved with trading 212, the link will be down below. As I say, you can get a free share uh, if you sign up with my link, but you don't have to. Take it at your own risk. Uh, do your own research first and foremost. Have a look into trading 212. Go on the website. Have a look at some of the terms and conditions, all that sort of stuff, because that is the best thing for you to do. Get informed and make the best decision. So I will leave it there for this one, guys, and I will see you uh, in the next video, and I will see you in the next episode in this series and we will see uh, if the portfolio has grown or if it's declined or also um, if it's going to be um, a lot bigger next time because of the income I'm going to be putting in there as well. So with that being said I'll leave it there and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon guys.